Oh, in the 1920s and 30s, the Hastings lifeboat called Cyril and Lillian Bishop saved the lives of 34 people. In the Second World War, she played an heroic role in the Dunkirk evacuation, one of the little ships that helped to pluck more than 300,000 men off the beaches while they were under heavy German fire. But in the 1950s, she was decommissioned and spent years as a fishing boat in France. Now, though, she's been brought back to Hastings, and the hope is that she can be fully restored if the £15,000 can be raised to do it. Ian Palmer has tonight's special report. The Cyril and Lillian Bishop hasn't been in Hastings for 65 years. The town's lifeboat between 1931 and 1950 had finally arrived home. This is so emotional. She's the heart of this community. She saved so many lives around this coastline. I think it's beautiful. It's really good for the town. I and mean, it should be here. It's very good because... It's history. The vessel took part in the Dunkirk evacuation in 1940. She rescued 34 men, but after 1950, she was sold. Three years ago, she was found in this boatyard, two hours' drive south of Paris. Simon Evans found her and began restoring her, but he didn't want to sell her. They're quite persuasive people. <laughs> and uh, it seemed like a good cause, and at least the boat was going to be restored immediately, rather in several years' time. This is the man who bought the lifeboat. It took him nearly a year to persuade the owner to sell. I can imagine my grandfather and my uncle on the boat 40, 50, 60 years ago, uh, and it brings them, they're, they're now obviously passed away, but it brings them back to life. There's fishermen now whose grandfathers went in it, still at Hastings, so it's, it's very, very important. Don't was her daughter. Just made me cry. If only I could be here now. Back in Hastings, Michelle Dennis's grandfather served on the lifeboat. Quite emotional. Um, it's the closest I'll ever get to my grandfather. Well, she's back, and she's back on East Sussex land for the first time in more than 60 years. But the work doesn't stop there. Fundraisers have to raise £15,000 to finish the restoration project. Ian Palmer, BBC South East Today, Hastings.